Hi everyone, welcome back to Beyond Your Knowledge. So today we are going to be studying in a short video about ethosuxamide. So and before I continue, I would like to share with you. So the Psalm 99.9 and says that exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain. For the Lord our God is holy. Okay. Yeah, so now we can go to ethosuxamide. First, what it is an ethosuxamide? It is a medication. So, but when do we use or for what is the purpose of using ethosuxamide? So, it is the treatment for absence seizures. Okay? Now, what is the mechanism of action of ethosuxamide? Ethosuxamide is going to block the calcium channel blocker, which one? So the T type calcium channels. So basically it's a calcium channel blockers in the T type and that is going to trigger and sustain rhythmical burst discharge in the thalamic neurons. So basically it's going to work in the channels of the thalamic neurons. Okay why in the thalamic neurons so you remember that we were talking in another videos that um all the cells almost all those cells 98 percent of your cells are depolarized by sodium yes but there were two exceptions that are depolarized by calcium do you remember what are those so those are the sinoatrium okay and your thalamus So the money could be sat, okay, sinus, atrium, and and thalamus. There we go. It's better. So depolarized by calcium. Now, if the patient has an seizure which is related with the thalamus, so we need to give a calcium channel blocker, which is called either succamide. Okay, so. There are others that we can talk about. Um, another um, drugs that we can use, for example, we can mention here. But let's just mention and break it down. So, what is the purpose of uh, some of those? So, we're phenytoin, carbamazepine, and valproic acid. So, what's going on with those three? So, so at those trees, um, but um, but guys, they are going to inhibit. So they are going to inhibit the neu uh, the neuronal high frequency. Firing, but through which electrolyte and reducing by reducing um, the ability of sodium okay so basically they were more f with sodium got it channels to what to recover from the inactivation Okay, so that was uh, just um, inactivation. I'm just making a, a connection there, just versus this one, and then the other one that we mentioned was the succamide that we think that block the T type cell channels in the thalamic neurons that we mentioned before, and then causing that one hyperpolarization when you do that. So you cause hyperpolarization. And which approved this one for the absence seizure, which is uh, an ethosuxamide. So basically, I think this is all that we can mention here and in, in this area. And thank you so much for watching, and hopefully, we can continue learning. God bless you all.